Stop number three of this 21 Solo Pro Series, 115 boats battle Table Rock Lake, April 11th. This tournament presented by Championship Marine Repair, a full fiberglass repair facility, giving away $1,000 towards Angler of the Year. Motion Fishing Company, the official jig of the Solo Pro Series, Motion Fishing strives to deliver high quality fishing tackle at an affordable price that excels in performance. Skirmish baits, custom painted topwater baits, jerk baits, and crate baits, go to skirmishbaits.com. And Best Automotive, Springfield, Missouri's best auto repair, family owned and operated since 1996. Stay tuned and enjoy the action. Tournament conditions presented by Favorite Rod Future Fishing, giving away rods for big bass and the top 10 elite. Also, Mouse X, get rid of mice with using Mouse X. Water temperature getting close to 60 degrees, allowing bass to move shallow to start spawning. Afternoon sunny and 70 with little wind, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna run up the, I'm gonna run up there, Flat Creek area. Uh, I don't just any one of them pockets. I mean, shit, I can't catch no fish, and that's the only place I did. So, in Flat Creek area. Yeah. So I'm headed there. Just on the flats or normal spawning kind of area. Yeah, those little about halfway back, little shallow. Uh, chunky pea gravel transitions. How far up Flat Creek you going? Pa yeah. Underneath the bridge? Past I'll be under the bridge. I'll be under the bridge, yeah. Okay. Two bridges. Well, I caught a lot of fish yesterday. Just had to work through the little ones to finally get to some females. We just hitting it a little bit too short? I'd say the folks that are coming next weekend for the tournaments next weekend yeah. are gonna have their hands full. Because the females that I found look like they're just starting to move in. I'm not a deep guy, so if they're out there still 15 to 20 feet, I ain't finding them out there because I'm I'm headed into five feet or less. Well, they ought to move up today. I'm hoping so. I caught some females late yesterday that I hadn't caught females like that all day long in that shallow water. And yesterday I started catching some late in the day. So hopefully that uh, they just spent the night moving on up. See if we can go put five biggins in here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run up the Kings. Up the Kings? Yeah. I think a lot of people are running up the rivers. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people up the James. A buddy of mine was up there yesterday fishing that, that big bass bash. Is that just to get the dirty water? Is that what you're trying to do? No, trying to get away from everybody. That's it. Yeah. So I there are so many boats on the water this weekend, it's, it's crazy. That's why I didn't pre-fish. I yeah. figured I'd come and do what I could do. Instead of beating up your fish? Instead of beating up myself with all them boats out there. Oh, that would be a good day. I mean, they're moving. People ought to catch them. Oh, yeah. It'll be, a, I'll have fun today. Yeah. I've heard some good things, so let's we'll see if they were all lying to me. You got some know. intel, did you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, caught them on crankbait, caught them on A rig, caught them on flue, caught them on jig. It's all consistent, but everybody, everybody says uh, eight feet of water, ten feet of water. Really? They haven't moved up any shallower than that. I, in my understanding, there's some bucks on the beds. Uh, <laughs> That's it. I think it's going to be a junk fishing day. It's going to be springtime. Just go out and cover some water. Hopefully, this post hopefully find a fish screwed them up or Nah, I don't think so. They'll eat. Uh, it didn't look like they ate real good yesterday, though, from what I seen from the weights. But uh, it would have taken like 21 to win, but it was dropped pretty. Yeah, early. it dropped to 17 or 18 after that, and then uh, one of them I seen it took 14. So I'd say today they'll eat pretty good, but I, and I, I think you can. Pretty well, do about anything you want to catch them. Hopefully, we'll see. It's hard. It's hard for me to figure this lake out. You want up the river that. or anything? No, I'm not gonna go very far. Oh, really? Are you good? You practice at all? I did yesterday for a few hours. Didn't find. Had one decent one, but that was that was it. Really? Yeah. Well, today's sunshine. Completely different. I'll to pull them up a little yeah. bit. Hopefully. Really? I called. Them. A little limit yesterday, but they didn't mount that. Mount that. It's windy and cloudy. Let's see what this is right here. This is going to be. It's going to be tough. I mean, somebody always catches us this time yeah. of year. I hate this time of year because 
you can catch them on everything, and if you don't watch it, you won't catch them on anything. You know. What are you gonna try to do different today? Uh, you know, without any wind, I'm probably gonna have to fish deep. Probably fish with a jig or maybe a net rig or something out on them horns. Aren't they moving I'm, up? Yeah, they're moving up, but the sunshine will drive them back a little bit, I think. Really? Without any wind, it's hard to catch them up there. Yeah. There's still some fish staging out there. You making a long run or staying close? Well, there's everything going on down on the lower end down there, you know, the big bass thing, so I'm probably going to go way up the white. Okay. Uh, if, it, if the wind would blow, I can catch them up there. That's where I caught them yesterday. If, if it don't, then I'll probably have to drop back down around Camel Point and back to the area. And fish boats deep. Fish shallow in the morning. Have been. There've been everything I've been catching is twelve or less. <clears throat> Any reason on why you're using? A large swim bait as your trailer. Just a little more flash. For the, kind of like the Alabama rig, they, they just a little more vibration and flash better. What did you do for a living? I uh, was assistant controller, at Colonial Baking Company. Really? For 32 years, yeah. And they closed the plant. Well, see, I started out in Hutchinson, Kansas, when I got out of the army. And then I transferred to St. Joe. And then I went to Denver, and I went back to St. Joe, and then I came down here. Huh. And uh, they closed the bakery in Springfield. I just decided, I was oh, 55, I think, at the time. Uh -huh. I just decided I wasn't chasing that freaking job anymore. I just yeah. give it up. So then I went to work for uh, Ewing Sigma. Oh, really? Yeah. What'd you do with him? Same thing. Oh, really? Yeah, I was a CFO. You fish all around the lake and when you're pre-fishing? Yeah, well, went down by Cow Creek Thursday and then Friday was up here, Ian's Creek, and then Saturday I went up to Piney. So I went to three different areas of the lake. The water clarity about the same? Everywhere I went was about the same. There's four or five foot you can see down. Same water temp? Uh, no. Uh, up down at Cal, it was like 54. Oh, really? And up Piney, it was 61. So it was a little warmer up there in Piney. Yeah. What do you think? Hey, <laughs> you gonna make it? Yeah. Doubt it. No, I don't think so. Does that kind of translucent color on the yeah. crankbait help a lot here? I think it does. <clears throat> it's got that little bit of purpley blue on the top, kind of mm -hmm. like the Table Rock Shad color. Uh huh. It has in the last couple of days, let's put it that way. Now that the sun's shining, 
may all go the wrong way. Now Thursday there was just a few clouds and early like nine o'clock till eleven thirty. Mm -hmm. They were hitting hell out of that this, the spinnerbait and the jerkbait. Mm. Then the clouds come in and the smaller ones are hitting it. So you think they're more focusing on the shad than crawfish right now? I'm on the board. <laughs> God dang. Bigger tournaments like these, do you think if you don't pre-fish, you don't really have a chance? I think sometimes it can mess you up, but I think majority of the time gives you at least an idea what kind of body of water you're looking for. I mean, you know, color or something. There's times I can go down there and pre-fish and catch the heck out of them and then the weather changed like it did this time and what worked then doesn't work. So you gotta, you know the fish are still there, but just gotta figure out what the heck they want now. You think they're on beds? Huh? You think they're on beds? I wouldn't think so. Can't get much closer. Eighth of an Ouch. 
Oh, heaven's sakes. <laughs> Three. As anglers start weighing in, we want to thank our product sponsors, Bass Pro Shops, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Bait Works and Boat Works, Calco Fishing Products, Motion Fishing Company, Favorite Fishing, and Skirmish Baits. How'd you catch your five or six or seven pounder? Uh, rock crawler. Got him on a rock crawler. Yeah. Yep, about 8.30, right after that fog lifted. That color there, you're kind of a reddish. Yeah, and I bro, I had, uh, and I lost all three of them today. <laughs> oh, so you had some more on? No, I had, I had some short fish too, but I had uh, three of those in that color and lost all three of them. What? <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen any on beds? No, and I looked. I went back in every pocket I could find, and I didn't see any on I didn't even see a bed. So. Yeah, you can, you can start seeing them up over here on the dock. You would have thought where I was up and way back in the back of the ants. A lot of people say they're seeing them up there cows and by the dam. Yep. It's actually cooler water. I'm cursed with three. The last couple tournaments I've had three fish. How'd you catch your three? Wobblehead. See them on beds? I went way up to James. It was hard to tell, but it seemed like they were. Oh, yeah. I was hoping for those fat girls that want to get on the bed early. Nothing but these little guys. But you catching them off like chant or the flats and all yep, that. Yeah, flats, pea gravel flats on a wobblehead. Well, that's where they're at. Blind fishing. They're wanting bed. to come there anyways. Oh yeah. Yep. What's your name? Ben Redwing. Ben Redwing. Okay. Yeah. Well, good job, man. I guess. Nope. Points anyways. Yeah. True. You yeah. a fish palmy? Can't complain. I caught a bunch of fish. Yeah, I'm hoping to fish them all. So. Okay. First time doing the whole solo pro series. Yeah. How you like it so far? I like it, man. It's awesome. It's a great program. Good deal. So, having a great time. Dang small is in there? No, I don't. Probably not up to James. Not up to James. Yep. I just gotta break that three fish curse. Did you get three fish last time? I did. <laughs> I had one I hoped was big. It was six six. And someone caught a six seven and a six nine. <laughs> I was like, so close. Caught. Big one early on a jig. And then that was uh that was it for a long time. Then finally about noon, they started uh, committing to the beds a little bit. Yep. And I caught them all uh, on beds with uh, a, jewel, a jewel shaky head and just different kinds of plastics, several different kinds of plastics. So you, you do the bright colors, pink, purple? No, I try to keep it natural. I feel like they'll uh, they'll bite quicker with more natural colors. A lot of people saying they're skittish. Or they're you, very skittish. It you, took a long time. It was. I went through and I marked probably 15 good fish on beds yesterday, and I think I only ended up catching one of those. They were all, for the most part, just gone. And I just found found new ones. They're not done. They're just starting. They're just up. starting and. Next weekend it'll be really, really good. But for right now it's it's really not very good. I I just kind of got lucky and hit a hot stretch this afternoon and caught uh, caught several good ones in that in that stretch. But before that, I was singing the blues. Well, Chris, you got a lot of rods on the deck. Which one was the lucky one today? I caught them on jerk bait and then keep a couple off the beds. Oh, did you catch a few off the beds? Yeah. I just got on it too late. Kept telling myself to get up there and look. Never did until well, did they one. move up later or did they? No, I'm sure they were there. I just, I never saw very many yesterday and today I just didn't look in time. Yeah. And you caught most of your, most of them on a jerk bait that? I caught two, three on a jerk bait and one off the bed. Did you see a lot of beds where you're at? Uh, not a ton, but enough. Yeah, we just we just walking by the dock there and seen a couple of them. Yeah, There's some big ones. So how do you catch them off that bed? What do you use? Uh, usually it gets it. 
My wife gets it. Did the wind hurt you? Being able to see him? Uh, not really. It just time is what hurt me. I just didn't do it quick enough. Well, where'd you go with in the morning then? Oh, I was just out fishing that jerk bait out deeper. Did you catch a lot of fish today? No. Probably six or seven all day. What, you catch any bedding fish? Like no, I tried on a couple of them, but they're still there just getting their little males, you know. But you're seeing them? Oh yeah, there's quite a few there. So did you go up by the dam area to see them? No, I was uh, I was up the White and James most of the day. 1482 with a 564. I'm changing. Well, what'd you catch them on today? Everything then? came on an A-rig. I caught a bunch of fish on a little single kite tank. Swim bait. They right. about off that A-rig? What's that? They about off that A-rig? They are to be. I, the next, I would expect them in the next week or so to be doing their thing. But many beds as there are. You know, water temperature's still 56. You know, it started out 53, 54 this morning. So. That'd still be on that rig, right? Something. Pretty small. Oh, pretty small. Oh, well, I probably had 50 bites today. They just were very non-committal. Why not? I don't know. I put garlic on there and sweetened it up for them. Popped it in their face when they'd bite it, but they just wouldn't, uh, they didn't want to commit. You bed fishing? No, A rig. They're still on that A rig? Hell yes. When do you put that rig down? Uh, about two weeks. You know, they're still, this afternoon late, I found fish suspended 10 feet down over 40 feet of water in the white. And it was consistent on the points. Mm. If I'd have had another half hour, I might have been able to get a limit. Did you lose any today or? Couple, a couple. They just run into it and not not get a hook in them. You know, so. Well, but it's fishing. I said fishing, yeah. Yeah, if it was easy, you wouldn't do it. You got any good ones? No. No, uh, just a couple KYs. Happy to have them. Yeah. <laughs> Are they fat? Oh, uh, one of them is. Well, right. Do you do anything special right now when you're flipping to the bed and bass or? Well. I was fishing mostly docks in the shade, and uh, so like anything like just bright colors, white. No, really? natural. Just green pumpkin. You upgrade it all? You know, I, I called a few times. Big old Kentucky. You just got a variety bag, don't I you? I did. Now you flip back of docks, or you? Yeah, the fronts of them. They they ain't back here yet. You know, it's going to take a couple more days, like it is today, and it'll really get good. Stop number three at Table Rock Lake. Listen to how Brandon Rummel, Brent Krodicky, and Mark Tucker. We're able to battle against 114 anglers and come away with the top three spots. Winning Waves presented by Mouse X, a natural derived product used for controlling mice. It's fully biodegradable and generates no environmental pollution. Favorite Fishing, Future of Fishing, giving away over $4,000 of rods and reels throughout the season. And Calco's Fishing Products has all the right tackle storage products and tackle management systems to keep you organized on and off the water. Brandon Rummel, I'm lucky enough to get first place today. And uh, yesterday we was down here, we went up the river, had 14 and a half pounds on a spinnerbait and the cloud and the wind. It was awful busy, a lot of company up there, so I scrapped that plan. Went down to the main lake today and fished clear water. 
uh, for bedding fish. Caught all of them. All my fish was bedding fish. Seeing them, targeting yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, seeing them. Far away from. A lot of people say they're skittish. They're very skittish, but if you got one aggravated enough, he'd stay. And you'd get him to bite. I, it spent an hour and a half on that big one. So you like bright colors, bright green, white. I use a half ounce stand-up jig head with a white uh, fluke. Oh, so, during practice, you said? No, I didn't even. I didn't practice. Yesterday we went up and threw a spinner bait. I just went fishing today. Just lucked into them. Are they in the pockets and short pockets, or way back at creeks, or both? You just had to. Really what I done is just kept the trolling motor on high until I found one that didn't just run plumb out of town when he seen my boat. Oh. If, he, if he would hang around the bed, then you could turn around and catch him. You probably drained a lot of batteries, didn't you? They're about dead, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, anything else you do any different or would you go tomorrow would you just keep going the same area? I would say this whole rest of the uh, coming up weeks is going to be bed fishing. There's a lot of fish wanting to move up and they'd only get better. Tip your baits and chartreuse or anything like that? Nope, just straight white fluke on that stand up jig head is what I've always used. Congratulations. We All right, thank you. <laughs> Give it to the old lady. All right, uh, Brett Grodicke, I got second place today at the Table Rock Solo Pro Tournament uh, at 1626, I think, uh, and second big bass with a five pounder. Um, I caught um, caught the big one on a jewel jig on a little channel swing fairly early and then I didn't have another keeper until about noon. Finally about noon they started setting up on the, the beds and I caught them on a jewel squirrel head shaky head and and different plastics. Are they starting to go back in the pockets is what you're doing? Yeah I was I was in the very backs of creeks um, I guess the water's warmer. I never even checked the water temperature, but I don't. They're not really in little pockets yet that I found, but they're in the backs of the creeks. You get back there, and they're starting to spawn. Ninety-nine percent of them won't hold at all. They'll just swim away. But um, did you go back to a lot of your spots and just try to? You know, yeah, I found. I marked probably 15 fish yesterday that were like three pounds or better. And almost all of those were gone today when I went to them. I think I caught one or two of them. Um, most of them were gone and I had to find new ones. So you just say you just caught the first wave of them? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's just it's just starting. It'll go for another month. Right, Brent, what are you do with your money? Probably give it to my wife. <laughs> uh, today, I caught all my fish. I caught some of them on beds, sight fishing. I caught some on docks. I caught some on an A-rig. Uh, the fish are just, they're in all different stages right now. There, there's still a lot of fish that are out that haven't came to the bank yet. And where I would see the beds at is where I would kind of concentrate for the bigger fish because the males, some of the small males were up on the beds. So I knew the females was close. And uh, so I kind of concentrated in the areas that I seen most of the beds. Okay. Any particular thing that you throw at these beds, you especially know, with the wind up? I do a shaky head worm, a zoom uh, trick worm. Um, I do a couple different little zoom baits, you know, just, it, it, you really just had to find the right fish uh, to know. The Kentuckys were a lot more aggressive than the largemouth right now, and uh, I caught a limit of those this morning and then called them out. But the largemouth I caught, they were out there in 15 to 20 foot of water. Oh, so they and were right up on the bank. No, no, they were out. And uh, just knowing where some trees were that was out offshore, and with the water being high, you had to know where they were at. And I've had a couple of GPS spots, and I would throw that A-rig around those cedar trees out there, and that's how I caught the better ones. Good job, Mark. What are you going to do with your money? Uh, it's already spent. <laughs> yeah. So I was sure hoping to win. Uh, I wish I'd have caught one more big one. I don't know what it took to win. Uh, but I was glad to catch what I caught because I drove down this morning and I didn't have a clue what I was going to do. So I was fortunate enough to catch what I caught. 